Welcome to the first episode of Safety Innovation at Zoots. My name is Mark Rosekind. Probably everybody wants to pursue something professionally that is meaningful, makes a difference. And so for me, that mission was trying to save lives and prevent injuries. But safety is also very personal for me. My father was a San Francisco police officer, a motorcycle officer who was killed in line of duty when he was chasing a traffic violator and someone else ran a red and hit him. I was three and a half, my brother was two. And so I know firsthand what it means to lose someone that you care about and have your life change forever when someone dies on our roads. Let's begin by talking about Dawn Roberts. She was 20 years old when her boyfriend took her to a dealership just outside Washington, D.C. to pick up her first car, a used SUV. They're caravanning back to his parents' place for dinner, talking continuously on their cell phones, and then Dawn's cell goes silent. She hits a guardrail, crosses the median, hits another guardrail, and flips 180 degrees in the air and lands upside down on a white minivan. Dawn lost her life that day, as did four Canadian tourists in the white minivan. In fact, that day, a hundred people lost their lives on roads in the United States. For a hundred years, road safety has been reactive. We wait until there's a crash, an injury, or a death and then we try and figure out what to do about it. We are in a moment where we need to transition because Einstein taught us if we keep doing the same thing over and over again, but expect a different outcome, that's the definition of insanity. And so we're in a moment where there's a chance for us to move from reactive to a proactive safety culture because the epitome of a proactive safety culture is preventing crashes from occurring in the first place. And this, I learned how hard it is to change human behavior. And that's critical because there was a study that NHTSA did showing that technology can save lives. That study looked at safety technologies over 50 years. And during that time, 613,501 lives were saved. So it's hard to change human behavior. And we know technology can help us prevent crashes, injuries, and save lives. At the NTSB, I learned how complex crashes are. And it ends up, there's never just one factor that creates a crash. And understanding the, the multiple factors and contributions of all these different areas are critical if you wanna make a change that will actually prevent crashes, injuries, and save lives. Every year on US roadways, there are over 6 million crashes that occur. And NHTSA data show us that 94% of those crashes are due to a human choice or error that we make. So we know that a fully autonomous vehicle offers the opportunity for those vehicles never to get drunk, speed, be distracted, or ever drive drowsy. So there's an opportunity for us to use all of the technological capabilities in autonomous vehicles to improve dramatically on the human choices and errors that lead to crashes, injuries, and lives lost. At Zooks, we're building autonomous mobility from the ground up. That means we have a chance to literally build in safety innovations that you don't see in cars today. And most people think that you can have safety or innovation. We really believe that we can innovate in the safety arena as much as we are in all the cool technology. And right now at Zoots, we have over 40 safety innovations currently built into our vehicle that you can't find in cars today. And when you take that same approach to applying safety innovation to the whole system, it gives us the greatest opportunity to build autonomous mobility from the ground up in the safest way possible. <laughs>